Hey folks, this is Nate LeVan, Pioneer Field Agronomist up here in North Central Iowa. I wanted to talk to you today about a topic that I kind of facetiously call the ugly duckling stage in the corn plant. Things that cause it and things that you might do to remedy in the future. Now you look at a nice field like this, you look across and you see nice uniformity of the plants and a lot of times those plants come up and up until about maybe this stage or maybe another leaf, they look beautiful. Maybe almost a blue green color to them, um, really raring to go and then all of a sudden, hey, we kind of turn yellow or we turn maybe cold and these plants just don't seem to grow very much. What's going on? Well that ugly duckling stage is usually due to a couple factors. First of all, this plant has been living off the seed from the time it was put into the ground. That mother plant gave all those nutrients into that seed in order to get this plant up and growing like you see here. Now when it transitions from that seed all the way to these little nodal roots to kind of feed itself and find its own nutrients and water, sometimes that can be a struggle. It puts more effort into the growing those roots than it does to growing the above ground portion. And for a couple days or maybe even up to a week, that can take a while and that, that doesn't always happen right away. Another thing that could cause it is if you have compromised rooting systems like from compaction or slotting. I know we had a lot of struggles to get the crop into the ground here across the corn belt. And anything that you do to limit that root growth will make that longer period or make that period last a little bit longer. Now things that you can do to remedy it, number one, seedbed preparation is always one of the things that we like to, to talk about and making sure that root growth happens naturally. Um, but when you're talking about the nutrients, banding nutrients, maybe with a pop-up or a two by two, um, you can also lay some nitrogen over the, the top of the plant, band some nitrogen with a zero by two. Um, some things that might cause you know this to be amplified, like we talked about compaction, um, there might almost be uh, a little bit of this, this um, you know, the seedling diseases that kind of come in and compromise some of the roots, and then of course insects chewing. So, um, if this happens to last a little bit longer, let's say into corn that's you know not not only this tall but maybe another foot taller, V4, V5, V6, V7, you start to see maybe some intervenal striping across the top. Um, things like sulfur deficiency, nitrogen deficiency, with the cool wet conditions that we've had, you know, that wouldn't be surprising to see some of that here in, in North Central Iowa. So if you have any questions on this or any other uh, topics or on any crops such as corn, soybeans, or any other crops, be sure to contact your local Pioneer sales representative. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on Pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.